Hello and welcome back to Neuro News Today. I'm Matthew, and in this episode, we have a really exciting, very interesting action figure to take a look at today. Now, you guys may not know this because I barely really do any reviews of these products, and I probably should change that, but I'm a big Ninja Turtle fan. I've got a lot of Ninja Turtle merchandise, and frankly, I've kind of kept it away from the channel just because I wanted to kind of have that just for me, and I have to worry about making videos about something I really, really like and want to keep for myself, essentially. But it's probably time for that to start changing on this channel here, and maybe today's going to be the kickoff of that because we have a really cool item here from the Loyal Subjects to take a look at. And that will be this guy right here. This is from the Loyal Subjects Best Action series, which is essentially their line of about 5-inch action figures that are super articulated, highly detailed. And with this here, is part of their Ninja Turtle line, which has been really cool so far. But what separates this from all the other turtles that they've done to this point is this is not just an action figure. This is the action figure and comic book special pack. And you guys can see here, it's in this really cool purple packaging because it's for Donatello. But what we have here is a nice little Velcro latch here, and I guess we're gonna talk about packaging right now. And you guys can open it up and you'll see that not only is it an action figure, we're also getting a comic book in here. And not just like a little dinky, you know, eight page printout with like a single staple in it. No. No, nah, we're actually getting a full-on trade paperback in here. So I'm a big fan of this type of action too, by the way, I want to mention, like, I just like anything that you can open up like a book, and that makes a lot of sense to do it this way because we've got a comic book in here. So yeah, like, why not actually go with that same kind of theme for the entire packaging? And, you know, you get this great glimpse of the figure here, which, by the way, it's pretty obvious right now, you guys can tell, this is not animated series Donatello. This is not him in any of the cartoons. This is straight-up original comic book Donatello. And what that means is that the mask is red and all the guys in this line are going to have the red masks only. No purple for Donatello, no blue for Leonardo, and you get the idea. It's only them in their original colors. Now, of course, we're going to spend a lot more time on this figure in just a few moments here. But just to wrap up our talk about the packaging here, again, the front, very cool. I love this just bold design of Donatello here. This is such a cool image. You know, if you're a mint on card displayer, this is really, really pretty collector friendly. Uh, and so I'd highly recommend you keep this box because this just looks so cool to even just display it like this. But you could also just turn it over to the side. You got this great bold looking font here that just shouts out what it is. And again, every single figure in this line is gonna have their signature color on the boxes. So they will line up very nicely and, and look really great together. So if you wanna do it library style, you know, it's still gonna look pretty great. Uh, now, if you jump over to the back of the packaging here, again, keeping that comic book motif, you're gonna see lots of comic-y fonts. You get another glimpse of the figure. You'll see some of the accessories that this thing comes with also, as well as just a good look at all the detail you're gonna get here. And last note about the packaging too, if I turn it over this way, you're gonna see the signature weapon of Donatello. So we have a bow staff on this side. So again, if you want to do it library style, you don't have only just one option here. You don't need to just like put it in this way for the name. You can just put it in like this with the weapon and that tells you exactly who it is. Very unique, very cool. I just love this here. You know, this is a really smart way to do the packaging here, but I'm not a mint on card collector. So let's go ahead now and get our Donatello out of the box and take a closer look at him from all angles. All right, so here's our loyal subjects, best action Donatello figure out of the box. I will admit it is a little confusing even though I know it's Donatello because it has the D on the belt, it's still just so weird seeing him in the red. Like, you know, it, it just throws me off, but that's what this is. This is the classic original style Ninja Turtles. And I want to just throw a special shout out also to the Loyal Subjects because what's really fun about their toys is they always include a best action sticker in all the packaging. Pretty sure it's a sticker. Uh, if not, it's just a nice little, little piece there that you can include. Nice for displaying. There you go. But yeah, this is always cool. So let's talk about this Donatello figure here. And I guess the first thing we're going to start with is that likeness on him. And uh, we'll get a nice quick here, quick zoom on him. So does this look like our Donatello that we know and love? I mean, yeah, basically it's Donatello. It's him in that old style. You know, Playmates fairly recently has done uh, a whole bunch of turtles. And I think you can actually see him in the Stranger Things 2 packs. Either the Stranger Things or the Street Fighter 2 packs. Uh, where Playmates is basically doing them in their comic book style as well. Their quote unquote comic book style. But what they're doing with them is they're making like all these like hatching lines and all that stuff, which was kind of how they were drawn in those original comics. Uh, here they keep it much simpler. They just go with the original color schemes. Uh, there's no any, there's no crazy hatching or anything like that, which is fun, but also sometimes distracting on a toy. So this is just basically, you know, kind of a very simple version. And, you know, all they're doing is just reusing the molds that they've already used for all the other turtles that they've done. And the loyal subjects have already done a whole bunch of turtles and they're great. They're awesome looking figures. And this like this is no exception too. I think it's really nice. I like the head sculpt on it. I like the color choices. This looks good. I mean, quite honestly, if you've seen one turtle, you've kind of seen them all. And in the case of our Donatello here, I mean, I doubt there's too many different head sculpts for them. I, mean, I think the biggest difference is going to be the mouth expressions for all of them. They're all going to certainly have 
different mouth expressions. Maybe their eyebrows will be changed a little bit, but for the most part, it's a very simple turtle. It's got a clean execution. Not really a ton I can comment about here. And likewise with the body, as we're gonna zoom out a little bit here, the body is also gonna be one that you're seeing reused in like all of the turtles that are gonna be in this line and for any future lines that they do. And it's a good solid body. I have, again, no complaints about any of this so far. You know, the body looks good. All the details you want to see in a turtle are there down to the elbow pads, the wristbands, the knee pads, the belt, of course, which goes around to the back of the shell. Let's talk about that shell too. A nice looking shell. I like the detail on this. And, you know, I don't really do a lot of stuff with loyal subjects, so I just want to actually kind of feel the plastic a little bit. And it feels like good solid plastic. I'm, I'm pretty content with the plastic that they're using. It doesn't feel cheap despite it being a smaller and more affordable action figure. It feels pretty good. One thing you'll notice, I'm having a little bit of trouble just getting the stand up straight. Uh, just there we go. I do feel like I have to finagle him a little bit just because I'm not used to these loyal subjects action figures, but he is standing up straight and there's no base on him. So that's a pretty big positive also off the bat. So no complaints about the sculpt. Now let's talk about one of the biggest selling points of these loyal subjects action figures. And that's that these guys all have 31 points of articulation. That's a lot of articulation. And I think you can actually see pretty much all of it here on this figure. So there's really no lies here. So we'll just do a quick run through in fact. And you get a ball jointed head that can go up and down, left and right and circle. You get a ball jointed shoulder joint, which also has a butterfly joint. And what the butterfly joint is, you can see right there, is that's what's gonna allow your characters to get their weapons closer to the bodies, just put their arms closer to the bodies in general. Um, but that's that's actually like a great feature. I love it when the toys have that. Uh, we do have a bicep swivel here, you can see. We have double jointed elbows, which again, allows the arms to get in a lot of great posing. So this is gonna be great for posing, great for figure photography. Uh, looks like the wrists can flex and rotate, wonderful. Uh, now, as far as the waist goes, I feel like that's where we're going to lose something. And it's funny because they're still counting it. And you can actually see if I move his arm, there is space there for articulation, but that sure isn't going to move because he's got this giant turtle shell on his front. Likewise, you can see there is a waist cut here, but uh, it's very limited. And that's just because of the design of this figure. So, you know, other best action figures, they move just fine. There's nothing in the way there, but the turtles, they're going to have a little problem moving their waists. Now, legs, that's an important one because these turtles got a kick, right? So... Well, that shouldn't have happened on camera, but <laughs> that happens. Didn't break, it just popped out of the joint. But yeah, I'm doing that just to see how far we can go. And yeah, you can't really do front kicks. Uh, you're gonna have a hard time getting some really cool kicks, unfortunately, with these guys, just because of how they're posed. You could try. Uh, it's not impossible, but it's not gonna look ideal. But beyond that, you do get a thigh cut. You guys can see you also have, again, double joints on the elbows on, on the, that's, yes, the, the knee is the elbow of the leg. That is actually very astute. Uh, we have, a little bit of swivel on the ankle there. So you're getting some good articulation. You know, turtles are tricky, uh, admittedly. So I'm not gonna like, you know, really go too crazy about the articulation here. I think it's overall pretty solid. I'm not gonna complain a ton about what's there, what's hindered, because turtles got weird bodies, man. I mean, <laughs> you can only do so much with one of these dudes. Uh, but overall looking good. I mean, and plus to be fair, you're not gonna have them like really doing too many crazy kicks. As long as they can hold their weapons, that's what counts. And speaking of, Let's start talking about accessories here because we have a bunch of accessories. It's actually a very impressive amount of accessories. I'm just gonna splay them all out right now in front of you guys. But yeah, it's that's, that's a lot of stuff here. So what we have here is of course, Donatello's bow staff. And as for the staff, uh, this is actually fairly plain. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what I was expecting, but there is actually some wood detail there, which I hope you guys can see. There is a little bit of texture on it. So at least it's not just like a nothing thing. And to go with that bow, we have this piece over here. So we're gonna turn our Donatello around for a second, move this other stuff over here. So you notice when I showed you guys the back before, there's just kind of this gap over here. And that gap is because of this accessory. So what we do, it looks like, is we're just gonna slide these bits on here. There we go. Okay, it's gotta be a little bit, a little firm with it, but there we go. That's actually, they're pretty solid. So that is gonna be our holster for Donatello's bow. And now you can see him from behind how he looks. And there we go. All right. That's looking pretty solid. Yeah. Not bad. I feel like it's going to be the kind of the word choice for these reviews is solid. Because, yeah, for the most part, I've been pretty happy with best action figures. I haven't reviewed a ton of them. But they are very solid, very nice figures. And uh, I might have to start changing that a little bit more because these are looking pretty good. So in addition to that, we also have an additional two sets of hands. So what we have here is a closed fist for punch in action. And over here, we have slightly more open hands. So you could hold onto all of your weapons. So let's just do some swapping now and see how they go. So we'll just go ahead and go yoink. And I'm gonna actually just put both of the open hands in there so that he can hold his bow staff. But yeah, everything's coming out really nice and easy. And that's one thing I can say also about these figures is that they were not stiff out the box. Like we've seen other companies, they're pretty much flexible and moving. 
So yeah, you can really not hear him even complain about any of that stuff. And that's a very, very big thing. These guys are moving nicely. Their joints are coming out very easily. Swapping parts has been a dream so far, actually. So, oh, okay, there's one downside. Well, let's go ahead and get this weapon in his hand. We'll talk more about that. So our Donatello has his bow staff in his hand, and it's good. He's holding it up. I mean, that's that's basically what you want. You want to make sure that your figures can hold all their accessories, and he's holding up his bow. That's fine. So the one thing I did notice, so as I was sliding that in, is that uh, one hand is holding it much tighter than the other, and this bow staff kind of just slid right out. So as you can see right now, he's holding it just fine. And uh, I think it, it probably would just make a difference depending on how you position his arms. Like, that might be what changes what he's able to do or how things slide out. But actually, as of now, it's looking like he's fine. So maybe it was an early overreaction to no problem. And there is one other accessory to talk about here. And uh, I think we'll swap out to one of his original hands, one of the more completely open palms. There we go. And again, super easy to put that in there. His final accessory is this slice of pizza. Let's see if his hand actually, oh, that's, that's like the perfect hand for it. I mean, it's not the ideal pose, uh, but yeah, he actually comes with a nice slice of pepperoni pizza and he's holding up just nicely right there. There you go. Yeah, I love that they come with the pizza slice. You have to come with it. If you make a turtle, you kind of need to have the pizza slice. And uh, just so you guys can see the detail. All right, he's, he is actually holding it. All right. I didn't think he was going to actually be able to grip that, but yeah, there he's holding up with his hand. Very simple, very cartoony slice. Um, but it's just nice to have. It's not like it's my favorite slice of pizza in a toy ever, but it does the job and that's what matters. So with that said, that's our look at the figure itself. Let's go ahead and take a look at that comic book that it comes with. All right, so let's talk about the comic that also comes with this action figure here. So that is like really one of the key elements of this particular set is that it comes with this big comic. And, you know, yeah, I gotta tell you guys, it is actually uh, surprisingly a lot thicker than I expected. So let's just dive into the quality of this thing first. And it is essentially uh, what you'd find in any comic book uh, as far as like the paper material goes. Now, I was actually not sure if it was gonna be like, uh, you know, with a hard spine or that kind of thing. Uh, but no, it is actually just basically a very thick, very deluxe comic book. You guys can see there's like the two staples in there. So yeah, if you were expecting something that was like, you know, a proper trade with a real spine, you're not getting that here. But I mean, to be quite honest, you can see the price point effect on this. It's a $6 comic book and you know what, for six bucks, it's got a lot of value in it. Cause I mean, this, this is, you can see it's a very thick book here. I don't quite know an exact page count. I don't think it actually, no, okay. It doesn't include uh, any like information on how long the book is, but you guys can see it essentially includes three stories in here. And uh, I would imagine that's three full size comic stories. So we're probably looking at like a 64 page comic book here. And, and you guys can see in fact it has what's in, and you guys can actually read in fact over here, what is gonna be in this comic. So we have, one of the micro series, which was by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. We've got one of the IDW, and that's from Mirage. And then we have an IDW Donatello micro series comic as well. And then finally we have, so you guys can see on the chapter here. So you guys can see a sort of makeshift table of contents here. It lets you know what stories you're getting. Uh, it doesn't really tell you too much beyond just, you know, these are all different micro series. And in the case of the final one here, part of the macro series. And, you know, I don't wanna go through like what's in every single one of these just because, you know, I feel like that's a different video altogether. But I can say I have read actually most of these issues already, so I know the stories that they're highlighting here. They're really good stories. Uh, I think if you're new to Turtles, you're going to enjoy them. If you're an old-time Turtle fan, you're going to definitely re enjoy revisiting them in this special format. So, yeah, overall, good things about this. Definitely adds some wonderful value to this set. Now, let's not forget, by the way, there is one additional accessory here. Can't forget this very important one. We have an alternate head sculpt. So it is essentially similar face. Uh, just this is an open mouth. The one that's currently on the body has a closed mouth. There's a little bit of some schmutz on the nose, but uh, that, there we go, just came off. So yeah, that was just a little bit of excess paint. So let's just do a quick head swap just to see how that goes. And uh, there, there we go. That was, okay, so there was the tight joint. We were waiting for one, but that wasn't horrible. All right, so yeah, overall, also I wanna make sure I point this out that you know while there was that little paint speck there, for the most part, um, the paint has been very clean. That's because they kept things very simple. Uh, and simple sometimes is the best way to do it. So yeah, this joint seems to be very, very tight. I am having a little bit of problems here. Uh, I will say user mileage may vary in the case of this turtle here. You might get one that fits on a lot looser. You might get one that fits on as tight as mine. It's not completely on right now, but at least you can see how it looks. And uh, I like this head a lot, actually. I do like the expression here. It's a really kind of cute turtle head. So, you know, that's fun. If you want to have him look a little bit less serious, that's the way to go. And just because I didn't mention it yet too, let's go ahead and officially show the height of this figure here. And yeah, it's just about five, five and a half inches. So yeah, he's not gonna really scale up too well with too many other things besides what they have right here. 
I think like figure arts figures will be close to that scale, but if I pop into Marvel Legends, you'll see now this just towers over that figure. So might not be the best choice there. So for the most part, these turtles are only gonna really play well with other five inch figures, which luckily there are more out there on the market these days. So they'll pair fairly okay with some of the smaller McFarlane figures, because they're doing a five inch line also. Some of the new Star Trek toys it might fit into, and it'll actually kind of sort of fit into the same scale as the original turtles, but those look completely different, so I wouldn't recommend pairing them together. So final thoughts on this Donatello comic book action figure two pack from Loyal Subjects. Yeah, really solid. If, if you're into this scale of action figure, I think it's a pretty good purchase. It's nice to have the comic book as well, because I enjoy that it's a full, not just a full size comic, it's basically three full size comics in one, which is talk about value right there. Plus you get a really great figure. Now for me, I'd probably prefer to just get the normal cartoon versions that they have been releasing and all their different variations, but this is a cool change in tone. And really, if you get one, you kind of got to get all the others, don't you? So consider this one a gateway drug. But if you are a classic fan, and you want those like real old school turtles, then this is the way you're going to have to go to get it. And I think it's a fine way to get it. Because again, they're also really affordable. And there's so many turtles on the market right now between NECA, between Playmates and the Loyal Subjects. And who knows what else is probably happening out there. But for, for my money, if you want to keep things a little bit better under your, your wallet, not kill your bank account, then these guys are a pretty good way to go. So I would say definitely put them on your radar and see if they fit with what you want to collect. Now, if you want to add this figure to your collection, go ahead and check out my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you use that link, it helps out this YouTube channel at no extra cost to you. So it's definitely worth giving a glimpse. So with all that said, I'm Matthew. This has been Nerd News Today. We will see you later. And until next time, turtle power. Although maybe in the case of this figure, it's pizza power.